Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So this is the makeup look I created for you guys today. It's a blackout smoky eye. And my beautiful hair was done by my hairdresser Sandra. So hair credit to her. Thank you for my beautiful braids. <laughs> so to start off, I am gonna take MAC Studio Cream. And now moving on to the eyes, I took MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot as my eyeshadow base for my eyeshadows. And to set that, I'm going to take a translucent powder and I'm using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder and just applying that all over my eyelids. And for eyeshadows, I'm going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills and take the color Soft Peach as a transition color and work that back and forth in the crease. And this color, you can't really see it, but that's the whole point of the transition color to build eyeshadows on top of it so everything blends very nicely. And now taking some scotch tape, I'm going to place that in the outer part of my eye up to my eyebrow and just fix it so both eyes are even. And with the Anastasia Beverly Hills fudge eyeshadow, I'm going to take that on my crease and don't be scared to get it on the tape because that's the whole point of the tape being there so your eyeshadow is going to look nice and sharp. And repeating the same thing on the other eye. And for the black eyelid part, I'm showing you guys that you can use any base you guys have. This is the gel and the just a regular black eye pencil. And I decided to take the gel because it's a little bit creamier. So I'm placing that all over my eyelids as a base for the black eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow is super intense and very dark as well. So taking that from outer corner to inner corner. And of course you can't forget the selfies. <laughs> so I'm taking a get ready selfie and back to the makeup I'm now going to take the color Noir which is a black eyeshadow from that same palette and just place that all over my eyelids where we place the wet n wild gel eyeliner and you always want to make sure with the step that you are just patting the lid color in place because if you're swiping it the color payoff isn't going to be as good and back to the crease more blending I'm going to take the color Morocco and Fudge and start blending that in my crease so there's no harsh lines with the other colors that we've placed down. So the same thing, just blending. Basically, the smoky eye is all about blending all those eyeshadows out. Now for brow bone highlight, I'm going to take another Anastasia shadow and this one is buttery and place that on my brow bone and this step is gonna really help clean the eyeshadow too if you took it way too high and back in with the blending brush just blending everything out every time you place a shadow you want to take another eyeshadow brush and just blend it out and now we're moving the scotch tape and you have very clean lines but I still like to take a little makeup wipe and clean the fallout and clean the edges and now my eyebrows I'm just gonna skip through this process very fast and for eyelashes, I'm just taking these number 48 lashes with some dual adhesive. I'm taking the dark tone since it is a smoky eye. And applying mascara. And like always, I like to place my eyelashes in the center and then I grab my tweezers and tuck in the inner and the outer corner as always. And here I'm just showing you guys how pretty they look close up. And now bonding my falsies with my real eyelashes, I'm going to take my eyelash curler and just give it a slight curl and moving on to face I'm taking Maybelline baby skin pore eraser primer and for foundation I'm gonna take another Maybelline product the Maybelline matte and poreless foundation this was seriously not planned to use this much Maybelline product <laughs> but blending that out with my damp beauty blender and another Maybelline product the Maybelline Adri wine concealer in the shade neutralizer and just placing that everywhere where I like to highlight my chin my nose and underneath my eyes and for my under eye concealer I like to take it way up all the way to my cheekbones because that's gonna give an appearance of a lifted face and as always I'm taking that same damp beauty blender and blending all those areas out and right away to set that I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and before I place the powder down I took the beauty blender and made sure there was no creases underneath my eyes and for contour, I'm going to take the shades Java and Fawn and place that on my cheekbones, a little bit on the sides of my nose, 
and on my forehead, chin and jawline. And for bronzer, I'm going to take the Bonds Berry Luminizer, which is one of my favorite because of the sheen it gives my cheeks. Placing that in the same areas where I place the contour colors. And for blush, I'm taking Benefit's Rockateur Blush. I'm placing that on my cheeks and blending that backwards towards the contour color. And I'm going to bake, so I'm taking the Airspun Loose Face Powder and placing that underneath my contour to clean everything up. And now moving on to my lower lash line, I'm taking the color Fudge and Morocco and Noir. Basically all the colors I use on top, I'm going to use them on the bottom. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm taking Mary Luminizer by The Bomb in my inner corners and also on my cheekbones for highlight. And I'm also going to mix the Becca Champagne Pop with that one. And right after that, I took a big blending fluffy brush and just dusted away all the extra loose powder that was sitting underneath my cheekbones. And for my lips, I took Alley Girl a matte lip gloss in the shade Fleur, which I'm applying right now, and a low rock one. And this is the final look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!